In late 2017, Sophie Brown, now 25, had her life turned upside down after being drugged and assaulted at the popular Christchurch bar. More than five years on, two men have been convicted after a trial centred around the drugging and sexual assaults of more than 20 women at the bar. The trial for the pair and another man began in February this year. The case took more than two months and spanned more than 130 witnesses, including victims, complainants and their friends and family. Today, Brown, the first survivor to lift her automatic name suppression, is finally able to tell her story. Uh, just a warning before we get into this, we do reference sexual assault, abuse and drugging. There was... um. I'd like vomited all at the end of my bed and my floor and like I couldn't remember for the life of me doing it. I was trying to think of like when did that happen everything like that and was trying to go okay I need to start searching in my head and like figure out you know when that happened also why can't I remember the second half of the night and everything like that and then when I was trying to remember it just like it just hit me and like I just like screamed like it was just an instant reaction I didn't know I still hadn't figured out what had happened, um, but it was just like, I just started screaming and crying and I like knew something had happened, but I couldn't figure out what. Um, and then that's when like little pieces of my memory started coming together. I was reading my phone, like texts from my friends from that night, trying to like, trying to be like, where, where did it all go wrong? Um, and yeah, that's when sort of just the memories started coming back to me and everything about the situation has made me have issues with trusting people I'll go from I've noticed like in th in thinking and obviously talking to you a few times about it I've noticed that I've gone from how do I explain this when trying to figure out like where I stand or relearn how to trust people or relearn who I am past this event and things like that and just Working through all those little things, I've realized that like over the past six years, I've gone from either I will over trust people and I'll um, overshare and everything like that to I'll go completely inwards and like just not trust anything, anyone with any information um, and just not really share anything. And it, it's a really weird concept to be like doing both, but I think it's just like trying to find an equilibrium again. Um, and it's way more difficult than like people would imagine. Cause you sort of just go, oh, you know, you've thought about this, you've worked through it. And like, I have a therapist now, she's amazing. Um, but it took me five years to get there. And that was five years where I was either a really fun person and like life of the party and probably a bit too loud, but having a good time to then like just this super depressed shell of a human that struggles to be in social situations and actually have meaningful connections with people um and there's so many emotions tied up in the events you know like the shame the embarrassment the guilt the responsibility and they're all it's so unfair that people have those feelings because of something someone else has done but I couldn't help from feeling those things. Like, like I said, I've only just stopped really taking accountability for what happened. Um, Cause it always plays on your mind, you know, oh, maybe if I hadn't had one drink. And like I said, I didn't find out till after court, which was February this year um, that I actually was drugged. And that's sort of been the theme for me through my healing journey and through this process is little bouts of validation that what happened to me was wrong and illegal and that something was going to be done about it. And that it's not your fault. Yeah, and that it's not my fault. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.